So we're here in Cobe, Ireland, and this is uh, a nice little, uh, very ancient um, harbor. Um, little, little, little uh, safe anchorage. So we're about, um, oh, I don't know, uh, 10 miles from the uh, main mouth of um, the river opening onto the ocean. So we're a bit inland, but this whole area is extremely armored. It's in, been armored for, you know, centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries. And so, um, so an example of extreme coastal armoring where there's very little um, uh, non-riprap, or in this case, um, discreetly placed rock um, armoring of the coast. Some of that is like right here in this harbor to to create a, a shelter and, and a utilitarian space for, in this case, fishing boats. Um, but all throughout, the, there's sea walls throughout this entire region. And so you get these fucoid brown algae. This is their, you know, main habitat now. They, they don't have uh, natural rocks or, or those types of things in much of this urbanized space. Um, and, uh, and there's not much soft sediment here until you get fairly away. So it looks like we get about, um, uh, this, is, this is low tide. The tide was about five feet higher a little bit ago um, or so, and it's dropped a bit. So we have a lot of moon jellies hanging out in here um, in this little embayment. Um, there, there are some wooden pilings uh, over there, the edge of the uh, dock uh, over there, but, but um, the vast majority is hardened stone. Um, armoring across this section of coast. And so this is an extreme example of how you can um, reduce coastal erosion by just having your city in the same place for a long time, even when the tides goes, go up or go down, um, uh, you have it uh, protected.